This is Jeff Alton, Big Game Hunter. Welcome to Job Search Radio. Are you looking for a new job or interested in leveling up? Job Search Radio is your go-to resource for insider tips on job hunting and growing your career. Here's your host, Jeff Altman. Hi, you're listening to Job Search Radio. I'm Jeff Altman, the Big Game Hunter. As more and more of you start job hunting or have begun job hunting, you may have noticed there are many sites now offering a convenient feature of one-click apply with LinkedIn or Indeed or with Monster. And it seems like a good thing to do, but there are problems with it. And on this show, I speak to some of the problems and discourage you from using the feature. So I hope you find this helpful. And if you do, that you give Job Search Radio five stars in iTunes, Stitcher, or TuneIn, which is uh, another site we're now hosted in. So five stars in in iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, or whatever site that you listen to the show on. And with that, let's get going. More and more sites these days are offering the feature of one-click apply to make it easy for you to apply for a position. But should you actually use it? Is one-click apply a useful tool for you as a job hunter? Let me explain what happens with one-click apply. And there are two ways that it's offered. One is you're on a job board like Indeed, and they say, hey, one-click apply, you've uploaded a resume to us, and we'll forward it on to the employer. Here's what happens behind the scenes. They're sending that same generic resume to every job. You know, the broken watch is right twice a day. That resume may or may not actually demonstrate the fit, and you haven't done anything to customize your resume. And that can be a problem for you, costing you an opportunity. In addition, when they send the resume, they don't have your address there. They have city and state, but no zip code. Now, you may say, what's the big problem? Here's, Here's the issue. They submit the resume for you, uh, and as a matter of fact, they often upload it into a database, into an applicant tracking system that's on the recipient side. Without the zip code, no one will ever find you again. Huh? Yeah, no one will ever find you. Let me give you a perspective. You apply to a position of mine, and, you know, I do recruiting all over the country, and the resume doesn't have your zip code. How am I going to find you there? Well, you search by skills. No, I search by skills and location. And without a zip code, I don't have your location. Well, why can't you look me up by city? Well, it doesn't work that way. The databases are all set up to do a search within a certain radius of a particular location defined by zip code. The result is you're lost forever. Well, I, I, I've submitted it to a local recruiter. Well, they do the same thing. I'll use New York as an example. I have a job in Manhattan, and I'm searching for people within a 50-mile radius of Manhattan. The databases are all searching by zip code. <laughs> How are we going to find you? Well, they'll search everything. But they're not. They're going to search by zip code. So you're lost to them. They won't find you. Here's another way some of these sites do it. They take your LinkedIn profile and submit it for the job. Now, take a look at your LinkedIn profile. That's thinner than your resume. And it's certainly not customized to the job, with the result being that you're basically dumping spam on people. For most job hunters, one-click apply is a convenience that's not really effective. It's not something that's going to get you more interviews. It's going to give you more resume submissions and give you the feeling like you're doing stuff, but it's not going to give you the results that you want. So I'm going to discourage you from using one-click apply and instead take note of the job, submit a customized resume for it, and go from there. It's going to be far more effective. 
So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, come on over to JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. There's a lot of great information I've created and others have created that you can watch, listen to, or read to help you find work more quickly. Again, that's JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. I'll be back tomorrow with more. I hope you have a great day. Take care. If you would like to have Jeff give you advice about your job search, you'll love JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. This site has all of Jeff's books and guides to job hunting available free. The ability to have Jeff answer your questions, plus podcasts and videos that will help you with all the different parts of a job search, including writing a winning resume and cover letter, great answers to interview questions, how to negotiate effectively, whether you want an easy way or want to get tough, plus a community of people like you who you can get advice from. The site, again, is JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. That's JobSearchCoachingHQ.com.